Welcome everybody to Art Basel 2022 in Miami Beach. Feels good to be back. Last year I did a free things to do during Art Basel and this year we're doing it once again. So I've left my card at home, left all my money at home and we're gonna see what kinds of fun we could get into without spending a single dollar. So stick around. Our first free thing to do here is called Morning Glory. It doesn't quite look like it's ready just yet. It is a Tuesday afternoon. So by the time you see this, it should be open. It is free to the public. You can't really tell from down here what it is. So I will bring up the drone and include some B-roll footage. It should be like flowers that you can pretty much walk on as like a boardwalk, sit down, take pictures with the waves crashing behind you. According to this sign, it is open from the 29th through the 4th, free and open to the public. So this is 100% free and it is our first thing that we are checking out today. Like, like I said, it is not open at the moment but from above, you can pretty much see what it's all about. It's just a great photo op. So this one is called Patria y Vida. It's part of the No Vacancy program here in Miami Beach. And it's basically a celebration of people's rights in Cuba to peacefully protest. And by using the barricade, it's a symbol of global resistance. Now this does have a ton of lights on it. The white stuff you see outlining the barricades are lights. So this is best viewed at night. If you wanna come see it, come see it after sunset. I'll throw up a picture to show you guys what it looks like, obviously can't show you it right now in real time, but I'll throw a picture on the screen so you get an idea of what it's meant to look like. The No Vacancy program is uh, Miami Beach's third edition this year. So you'll be able to jump between hotels all across Miami Beach. And there are art installations at each and every one of them. I think there's about 12 or 13 hotels spreading from South Beach over to Mid Beach. That one right there is part of Faena. So that is one of the installations out of the 12 or 13. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can pretty much go between a bunch of hotels and check out the cool art from them. They were given, I believe, 10 grand, if I'm not mistaken, I'll correct it here if I'm wrong, uh, to come up with their own sculpture, their own art piece, and uh, put it at many beautiful hotels across the city. This next one is called Ruin Beach Art Lounge. It is right on the sand, close to the public today. They are doing a media preview, which we do have an invite to, so we'll be here in about an hour. I just wanted to stop and give you guys a little sneak peek before we move on to our next location. Here's the St. Laurent pop-up. They had a similar one last year, which we did go to. You guys can go check out my video from last year, see what I'm talking about. This is a little different. This actually looks pretty cool. Is this close no. This is pretty cool. Let's see what we can show you guys. I'm not sure if that line is to go inside. I'm assuming so. They do open at five, so I'm not sure if the line will just move right in. You guys see there, it does say Madonna. And this is a line of people waiting to get inside. Okay, so unfortunately, city bikes are very popular right now. So every station is pretty much without much bikes. There's like one bike per station. And if I return this, then I'm at risk of the, all the bikes being taken. And when I'm done here, I will have no mode of transportation back home other than the trolley, which is obviously gonna be packed as well. This is a Madonna Saint Laurent collab pop-up, similar to last year, but obviously more themed around Madonna. So if you wanna see my video for last year inside Saint Laurent's pop-up, check out the link in the description. Um, if you want to see more about what this is, as far as the content inside, the link to the event pop-up will be in the description. Again, it is free. Since I'm not going inside, I want to give you guys a little preview. There's like photographs on the wall. So you decide whether making the line is worth it. I think it's just about time to go into that media event, the media preview. Obviously, <laughs> not letting go of this bike, have it rented out for four hours and I just don't wanna let it go yet. So again, this place is 100% free, but they are not open today, Tuesday. So more than likely when you're seeing this from Wednesday on out, it's open. You can come stop by, take pictures, enjoy everything here. This looks pretty intense. There's like people with suits on, just on the perimeters of it. And then just me, casually dressed. But we do have our name on the list, so should be able to get in a couple of minutes. Hi, uh, Joel Franco. That is pretty cool. We do have some uh, champagne, I think. This feels so fancy. Oh, it's like a mirror over here. Today it's a media preview, tomorrow and the rest of the week, free for the public to come in. Hi, are these bags complimentary? Uh, yeah, they're free to When I used to these events, uh, I had to ask if these were completely free to take home. And they said, yeah, it's meant for your shoes to go in. I'm wearing Crocs, so I don't really care. Thank you. Thank you. Another glass. 
So there's all of these different art pieces here that you can take pictures with and at night they will be illuminated so it should look pretty cool. I will say it is a next level experience having uh, whatever this is by the ocean. Cheers to Art Basel. Looks like we can actually go inside so I'm gonna do that right now. Show you a little bit of what they have to offer in here. You can sit down these super cool, comfy looking, uh, what looks like canvas pillows. And then this is what they were putting down earlier. It looks like there's paint, water, you can actually paint, I'm not sure what you would paint. But they've got brushes here too. Hi, what is this? Thank you. I'm not sure exactly what this is, even though I asked and he answered. The music's too loud. That is so good, wow. If you guys know what this is, he said it, but again, I couldn't hear what he was saying. All right, we're done with this place. I took a little bit too much of an advantage of it, but I wanted to show you guys what they have to offer. I'm not sure if it'll be the same vibe when it's open to the public, but they did give out these cool bags. You guys heard me, I asked if these were to, to keep. They said it's to put your shoes inside, but I mean, they came with Crocs. Pretty cool vibe. They're giving out free champagne, free bites. I'm assuming when they open, tomorrow it's free to go in but they may charge for the drinks i mean it only makes sense this next one is part of the betsy hotel and it is always here but at night there is a special projection and it is also part of the no vacancy program so if you're ever by ocean drive and 14th street check it out this year on espanola way between washington and collins avenue is an installation called trapeze contortionists by Miami Beach local and Haitian born artists. Last year, Friends by You had this entire spot covered up in clouds. The walls were painted as clouds as well. This year is all about trapeze contortionists and the walls are actually painted as well. Pretty cool. By the way, we are going to check out a Friends by You installation that popped up this year. It is not here in Espanola Way, obviously. That has made room for another artist, but Friends with You has another, uh, actually it's a 50 foot sculpture on 41st Street. We're gonna go check it out right now. All right, so there's two things here. There's these new cool sculptures. There's a bunch of them on Lincoln Road, so challenge yourself to find all of them. And there's also the Holiday Market here in Lincoln Road as well. And the cool thing about it is that it is actually originally from New York City. So it's their first expansion nationwide out of the entire country, their first expansion here on Lincoln Road in Miami Beach. So what an honor. The holiday market is not Art Basel related. It's here for the holiday season. So I thought I would just give you guys a quick preview. I did showcase this in the other video I posted a couple of days ago. So for a, about a block on Lincoln Road, you have all of these tents that have uh, small businesses. You can buy clothing, skincare products, jewelry. This one's all dedicated to puzzles, pretty cool. Yeah, the holiday market will be here until February 15 of 2023. So you've got all of December, all of January and half of February to come check it out. If you Google the pictures of the one in New York City, you'll find that it is a lot more impressive, a lot better looking. And uh, this one kind of feels underwhelming. Nobody's paying attention to it. People are just walking by and uh, the workers there pretty much just look bored. They're not getting the clientele that I'm assuming they expect it here in Lincoln Road, especially during the holiday season. Now in my last video, when I first showed it off, it was Black Friday and it was still empty. So a little bit of disappointment there, but yeah, let's continue. You guys hear that? It's playing like bird noises from these speakers. Right next to Lincoln Road. By the way, this big, this big wall right here dubs as a projector screen. So they'll play movies occasionally. I also have a video on that. Movies are free, by the way. They would do it like every Wednesday night. I'm not sure if they're still doing it, but feel free to check it out. If you're interested, it's free movie. You know what, screw it. We're in the area. Let's go take a quick sneak peek of Art Basel. The madness. This is all traffic leading to the convention center. All right, let's see how crazy this is. This one is called Design Miami. Tickets for this, I don't think are expensive. I think they're about $35. So there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm seeing people sitting down, just chatting. It's a good place to mingle. And uh, there's a bar, there's art inside. There's this little sculpture outside, free photo op. 
Looks like pool noodles. So they made seats, rocking chairs basically out of pool noodles. And this is outside the entry point, so free photo op. Oh, they figured it out. They've got an electric vehicle charging station right here. Just randomly mounted there, getting the cars ready. Assuming this is a pickup and drop off service that they've got going on. Guys, behind me is what's called Star Child. It's by Friends With You, the same people who brought the clouds to Espanola Way last year. This is a 50 foot tall sculpture. It had its grand opening a couple of days ago. It's made out of powder coated steel and aluminum, and it's basically a representative of light, power, and nature. This is, by the way, Pine Tree Drive and 41st Street right here. A lot of traffic right now, as you guys can hear. 41st Street goes in and out of Miami Beach at the mid beach point. Pine Street pretty much just goes north to south. It is hectic right now, guys. Welcome to Art Basel Week. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. These were the free Art Basel related events that I could find here in Miami Beach. If you guys enjoyed it, like this video, subscribe, and uh, I will probably have another Art Basel related video, but for sure we're doing some Christmas event coverage in South Florida. So if you guys wanna know what's going on, Christmas related, holiday related, then subscribe, hit the bell button, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So yeah, see you guys next video.